Hello, Buzzacals, my name is OtsusT and welcome back to Beltless Factory, where last time uh, we fixed or improved at least the electric furnace production, which is essential for our purple science production. And regarding purple science production, it's still low. But we started off with, um, I think, seven signs uh, per minute. Now we are up to, uh, to nine. And, but if we see here, the peaks are higher and they are more frequent. So we are on the right track. But another thing that we notice is that sometimes we have issues here with the train loading station. Uh, what we saw is one train sitting here wanted to leave, but the destination was full. And then another train already driving in, basically blocking the train uh, to leave. Uh, we fixed that with this signal here, but I think the the proper solution uh, should be that we don't have trains waiting at the train fueling station because the destination is full. We have train fueling stations all over the place. Um, and we have a bit of a, a jam there uh, so that trains can go to the nearest fueling station. However, if the nearest fueling station is occupied by a train like this, they will have to choose one that's farther off, which is not that optimal. So, we have 91 trains going to a fueling stop and hopefully most of them have a waiting bay stop after the fueling stop. And we will have to go through them uh, to see that that's actually the case. And here we have the first candidate that needs fixing. We have the train fueling stop. And after the train fueling, it goes to red signs pick up. And the pick up might be unavailable because, uh, I mean, red signs pick up is probably not unavailable because too many trains are standing there. We have three uh, pick up stations and I think uh, two trains going there, but there might not be enough materials waiting there. But we do have this slot for, uh, for the waiting at the labs, so we can move the fueling, uh, the fueling stop before that waiting slot. And that should have fixed that issue. And then same thing on the other train. And here for the green signs, it's all right, already in the correct order. So maybe the other uh, signs trains might have that issue or are already fixed. But probably there are a few more trains that need uh, fixing. This one is another candidate and here we don't have any waiting stop in the schedule. So we have to add one. So the question is, do we add one for yellow belt waiting for in certain loading waiting or for green signs delivery waiting. And if we would add one for those, then we have to think 
are there other trains that would profit from either a yellow belt uh, waiting bay or an insert waiting bay as we are not placing any belts uh, we are only using the belts for the green signs so this is the only train that and uh, the other was the same schedule so basically does not make sense or no other train type that uh, profits from have a waiting bay for yellow belts uh, then for inserters uh, inserters we are needing them also um, for the um, for our mall up here and that train has certainly several waiting bays within the schedule so we don't need it for that train so we can basically say we make a waiting bay for green signs and green signs is down here so we should have the waiting bay either there or there so let's see if we have one to spare somewhere here yeah there we have one um actually down here would be better we also have one here waiting green science delivery and this is better because after the waiting bay the train has to go there so there is a direct route whereas uh, if it would be uh, up here they would have to go around here a bit a longer way and we want to keep the the train um, routes as short as as possible so back here it's this one um, we want to add the waiting bay for green circuits delivery we add it here and then move the fueling stop up there okay another train sorted and here for the space signs we have the same problem so probably here we will add a stop for space signs pickup or should we I mean space science delivery that's the that's the lab if we have a train there we can just wait at the at the pickup because it does not make sense to uh to have more trains there so i think we have a waiting bay before the the pickup and that would fit in nicely with the train fueling then so let's see if we have an empty slot up here yes we have um waiting space science pickup and then let's find the train again 
It's not that one. That one most likely. And that was waiting. Space science pickup. And the waiting bay comes after the fueling bay. So the after fueling, it goes to waiting and uh, sticks there. So let's go through the other trains. And uh, if we notice uh, something interesting uh, that we need to fix, then we'll have a look at it. We have come to a point where we have another science train or science delivery train, like uh, the, the space science. They are set up pretty simple. Pick up delivery fueling station. So they are lacking a waiting bay somewhere in the schedule. And as I want to have this as optimal as, as possible, with the pickup station down here, um, I thought maybe we should have the waiting bay here, but all the stations are already used, so we have to add some new ones. So let's just make a copy of this. And this is that one out of rail. And of course, this wants to be waiting X, Y. So they are unassigned. And while we are at it, Let's copy these two. Like so, and so. So we do have a few more um, stations, waiting bays that we can actually place. So, Apparently, I need to fetch some rail to finish that and then hopefully we can uh, fix the remaining schedules. And I would assume that we don't have that problem only for the space signs and the military signs, but for, for all the signs. Now, here is an interesting one. Um, we do have these trains for the uh, speed module and then probably also for the productivity module delivering here that don't have a waiting bay. And as we only have one train stop, um, then I think we don't need uh, to worry about um, because they would wait in in this spot um, but maybe we should we should move it up here because we know the no actually uh, that that was right because they sh this station only has one train and uh, when it is empty the, the train can go there so that's basically just as good as a waiting station and i am almost through the 90 plus trains 
Um, there are probably still one or two uh, science waiting base that I have uh, missed so far. Um, there is the one that we just looked at. That's the other one. And then we also have dedicated train fueling station for iron plate and uh, uh, copper wire. So I think uh, those should also be checked, but I think those are good because uh, we do have waiting base for uh, for uh, these kind of materials. So hopefully in the next segment we are all done with all trains and all train fueling stations. Uh, yeah. It looks like we are okay. We do see uh, there are a few stations for fueling that are actually white. Uh, others are blue because they have a, a train chosen. Uh, then here those are okay. So I think, ah, here we have one. Oh, probably you should go move the, the slot around, but did not send the train there. So a few trains were actually waiting at a fuel station, um, had to move the, the, the stop around in their schedule uh, and then maybe forgot to send them to the appropriate waiting bay to reset their schedule. Um, down here we do have another train that does not have a waiting bay after the fueling, but that's also okay because this, similar to the uh, productivity module trains, uh, is the only train that makes the journey. So the follow-up station should always be free for the train to choose the stop. And that's it for today. We did a lot of fixing of train schedules. Uh, so hopefully next time we can see uh, a positive effect and uh, we will probably need to figure out how to further improve the purple science production. Until then, goodbye.